in the name of God. Hello to the board. Hello to your friends. Hello to programming experts. My name is Amir. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you BFS function in MATLAB for eight puzzle. As we see here, as you know, in BFS, we develop every possible child of the first knot. And we go to the second knot and do it again. We develop every child possible of that, and so on. So every level will be satisfied, and then we go to the next level, and so on. Let's think that this is our initial state. We are going to reach this state as goal state, and here are uh, our positions. 1, 2, 3, 2, 9. I'm not going to use 3 by 3 matrix and I'm going to use 1 array so it makes easier, makes it easier and faster if our blank space is here we can move it side by side or up and down and replace it the value of the first uh, element with the second value or the fourth value or if we are here, we can move it side by side or up and down. So we have uh, three choose here, we have two choose here, and we have five choose here. We will see it later. Here are our variables. Input. We give it our initial state. From here, I can copy it easy, uh, very easy. This is my goal state, and PW is the array we are working on it. PN, new permute. We store every node in a list. I gave it pre allocation by zeros. The first row is my PW. PRT it stores every node parent and children. This is 9 factorial. If we have 9 positions, uh, at last we have 9 factorial moves per mutation. I will talk it later more about parents. And S, the number of new node row for position. If PW is equal to goal state, let's place this as a matrix. And we have a 4 here. This command, mm, percent S gives a string value to this text and shows this text, prints this text as a string value and this prints it as an integer value it's a number and string value again for this and integer value for this as remember s was my the number of row Okay, we use zero for the blank position, so A takes the value of the zero position in our array. For example, here the zero is the fifth element of this puzzle. We have at last four moves, so we need four arrays for replacement. Mm, R the column number of childs in parentheses, we will see it later. If a is equal to 1, if a is equal to 1, we will replace the 0 value by the second value with this method and store it in p1 at a new child or permute.
let's think this is our list that we store every new node in it the next node must stay here so I need to know the first zero array or the number of non-zero arrays to put it here let's check these commands One means at least one non-zero value exists in every command. You see. Now the same operation is done but horizontally. It counts non-zero rows. It's clear. So we could get the number of non-zero rows. If we add 1 plus s as it's 4 here we get the next not row number or position here that is 5 if is number p1 pn in rows is equal to 0 if p1 is not repeated in the list, we add p1 in the next row, s of the list, the row of s, as we calculated here as 5. p and s and all its columns equals to p1, that we made it here, prt. As we said before, as I said before, prt, I mean parent children of a parent will be stored in a row in every iteration we have at least four new nodes so we need to know the parents of every node so in every iteration we add the iteration number as the row and its children as the columns of that row the next column will be plus one the next column here will be plus one then the next children column position. Let's see an example. I'm gonna debug it. My the zero is here in the fifth position, so I'm gonna debug it if a is equal to five and see what happens. I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna copy this as my initial input. If a is equal to a, if a is equal to five, I'm gonna press F10 if it works. It's replaced the fifth position by the second position. As we can see it here. Five. P1. Went here. S is here to the next position. If is member P1, P1 is equal to zero. P and S is equal to P1. So I go to Pn. Here we are. and parent 
PRT. So I know that the second children is the children of first value, first not, sorry. We have four moves. Okay. Now I know that three, four, five are the children of the first value, first node. And we choose the second node, the second node in PN here. My zero is the in the second position, so it might uh, it it must choose if a is equal to two. Let's see what happens. Yes, it got it. Okay. Here we are, I'm gonna run this function completely and reach the goal position. I'm gonna use an extra 4 here, uh, so I can debug it here, breakpoint with breakpoint, and uh, not to lose my variables after n. Take this out. Sorry. I'm going to pause for five seconds. Okay, puzzle solved. Let's see. Some nodes, my ending nodes. I'm gonna see from here to the end. My ending number is here, nineteen nine fourteen. As you can see, this is our goal state to reach that in the this is our goal state. It's in this row 9913. And in PRT, it shows that 9913 is the children of this. I copied uh, PRT items in Excel so I can use Ctrl F here and find my parents 6418. 6480 is the children of these parents. 4000 and 2555. And so on. So if if I if I use these numbers here, I can have uh, this pass. But I made this function. It can make it easier. This command finds the pass first element position in PRT 
as you can see here and gives it uh, to the J the row gives the J and the column will be here that I, I didn't need it I typed here this means that I don't need this value J will be stored here left to the pass and in the next iteration the first value of pass is 6418 so it will find 4000 in the next iteration and it will stay here again and in the next it will be like this and so on so at last we have something like this this is our pass to goal state from the initial state to goal state so if I use this pass here Let's see what happens. This is what we want from initial state to the end state. This is our answer. We could use S uh, here. It will work uh, the same if you use S here. Sorry guys, I forgot to explain this. In the next iteration, we are working on the next node, so we choose it. So for example, if we are here, in the next iteration, we, want, we must choose this as PW, the array that we are working on it. And I didn't explain this. If this member goal state and PN, it checks, uh, compares goal state with these items only five ending items in every iteration we have um, four new nodes so we don't need to check with all pn items it takes much time so i made it easier here only five ending numbers uh, items is equal to one display puzzle solved break and it comes out of four okay guys as we see we had 6480 iterations and 9914 knots and we reached the goal state by 16 moves from here one move two move three move two 16 moves Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hit the like button if you like it or subscribe if you have any comments. Thank you. Goodbye.